I was sitting one evening just chilling in front of the TV with a glass of red wine. And I was sipping it and I was doing a bit of channel surfing. And I do this often. Um, not the sipping of the red wine, I normally gulp that, but the, the channel surfing. And the reason being is because you'll sometimes come across a program that you're not looking for that will stimulate your thinking. And that evening was no different. I came across this program about the great explorers of the world and how they had contributed to our understanding of what the world looked like. And I could be nothing but impressed by them because when these explorers and their crews headed off from port in boats that weren't the strongest of vessels, they never had any assurance that they would return. What impressed me most about these guys and their crews was that whether they succeeded or failed, they always kept meticulous records of their sights, their experiences, their journeys. They recorded the wind speed, they recorded the swell of the water, safe and unsafe passages of water, they recorded where to put down anchor. When they come across dangers, they actually recorded on the maps where that danger was. And whenever they come across new land masses, they had an artist on board. Imagine they took an artist with them so that they could meticulously record the coastal lines. When they returned to port, they gifted these journals. They gifted the records they give of their experiences. Why? So future explorers and crews could go further safely, could go further faster, could take the path of least resistance, avoid the dangers. They gifted their experiences so that they could influence better outcomes. I started thinking about my career when I was watching that program. And I thought, if we could gift our experiences in health, how much could we influence the outcomes of people in the future? How much could we influence the health outcomes of people who were further behind us on a journey of health? You see, I've worked in healthcare for 30 years, started my career as a young nurse in 1988, um, worked across all of the therapeutic areas, got a load of experience, moved to London, took charge of wards in some of the major hospitals in London, specialised in haematology, specialised in cardiothoracic intensive care. And every single day that I went to work, I was looking to influence the outcome of a patient, help them get better. Take my experiences from previous experiences that I had with patients and push them forward to other people so that they could get the same outcomes. I moved into the pharmaceutical industry in the late 90s and I worked as an advisor, as an educator to doctors and nurses whenever new products come along, new treatment plans come along. Where do you use them? What profile of patient? What will it cure? Who will it fix? And every single day for 20 years, bar none, I would get a phone call from a doctor or a nurse telling me I have such and such a lady coming in this evening. She has X, Y, and Z wrong with her. She's this age. We've tried product A. We've tried product B. We haven't got a good outcome. Mark, will your treatment work? And I had no answer because research is limited to a particular profile of patient. If you think back to the voyages, they were maiden voyages. Research and medications are maiden voyages. They're the single voyage that is looking to prove that a product works for a small profile of patient. If your profile doesn't match the profile that's in the research, there's little chance that you're going to get the same outcome. Let me explain. I'm going to open up to you on my profile, and I'm going to let you reflect on what your profile is. I'm a 52-year-old male. 
Yeah, I had a, I had a heavy paper round. Um, but I'm a male white Caucasian. I have a bicuspid aortic valve where I should have a tricuspid valve. I'm not prescribed any medications. I suffer from migraine headaches. I occasionally take aspirin and believe it or believe it not, I drink alcohol. That's my profile. Your profile is different, but it's also similar to somebody else's. If me and you get diagnosed with the same condition today, and we're started on the exact same product or treatment plan, not necessarily medicine, whatever that treatment plan is, not necessarily pharmaceuticals, are we going to get the same outcome? No, we're not. We're totally different. Everyone is different. But if we all gifted our health experience, when we get a diagnosis and we are started on a treatment plan and we have a before, a during and an after, and that's all consolidated in the future, if we gifted them health experiences, how much more information would our doctors have? How much more information would our nurses have? More significantly, would the doctor have to ring me up and ask me, Mark, will this work for this lady? Because if that information was available, that lady would have been given the right treatment at the right time for what her presentation of the condition was. Let me talk to you about an article I read the other evening. It was about chronic illnesses. A chronic illness is an illness that lasts longer than three months and is progressive in nature. Asthma, arthritis, psoriasis, diabetes, uh, all of these are chronic illnesses. And everybody's on a journey. If it's progressive, you could be in stage one, stage two, or stage three, or more, whatever the case may be. 50% of the American population, and the world population reflects this, suffer from a single chronic illness. That's one in two patients that are on a progressive journey, a journey like a void similar to the explorers. One out of two. 27% of patients in America, people in America, suffer from more than one chronic illness. And if you look back to the maiden voyages of research, research is limited to a single condition. So there's one out of four patients in America who suffer from more than one chronic illness, there's limited evidence as to what is going to work best for them, when should they be transferred on to what treatment plan, what outcome are they expecting from it. What I ask is, if we can go out for a meal with the technology that we have at the minute, and we can take a photograph of our dinner and share that to the world. If we can stand in front of a mirror with the technology that we have and take a photo shot of ourselves and share that with the world, how much more could we do for health if we shared and gifted our health experience? Gifted the important stuff. <laughs> we make the difference. Be the change. Thank you.